Hallelujah. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe, tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, you crush all of them. Even without trying. You are not living your life to please them. They are the ones that want to live their life to like oppress. Let you see that they are this. You know, there are people, especially in this generation of fake life. You need to understand though. <clears throat> If I tell you that I learned to be contented, I learned it. It wasn't easy because as a human being, it is hard for you to be doing the same thing that others are doing. And you see that all of them are growing. They are growing, 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 growing. They even started yesterday and you are like, ah, ah, what happened? Am I doing something wrong? Um, is there something I'm not doing right? <laughs> you know? So, and you realize that sometimes, what you see as growth was paid for. What you see, because I encourage people to be always contented with your blessing. You might see somebody that have that would drive a very beautiful car past your streets, and you don't have a car, for an example, or you have a car, but not that kind of car. Everybody might admire the car or look at the car, but you might find out that the car belongs to a friend of that person. It belongs to the renters. Or they are testing the car to see if it's working. So if somebody will see that kind of car and say, ah, is this one, this kind of person that is doing the same job I'm doing? Why don't I have this car? The person will want to give up on his or her own journey. Hallelujah. That these people, you don't even know them. But they want to live life to, to act as if they are oppressing you. Go to social media. They are there. People will go and rent a car. And they will put balloons they will put all of that they will do it as if they are presenting it to their wife to their fiance to their family people will not be shouting ah you bought a car for your mom you bought a car for your brother you bought a car. But behind the scene the moment they stop the video they are going to take the car and return it to the car owner and they give this car you never see them ride the car they see it as a gift but you never see them ride the car you see people giving a give, engagement ring that worth thousands, millions of dollars, millions of euro, millions of cipher, millions of pounds, whatever they call it. And at the end of the day, you don't see the person wearing the, the ring. You ask yourself, where is the ring? The person will tell you, it's in my collection. So we are living a life that is full, a world. We are living in a world that is full with fakeness. Especially in this generation of social media. That is why I said we need to protect our children very well. Let them know. L teach them contentment. Teach them contentment. If you have roof over your head, you have food in your table, you have the car you used to go to job, you pay your bills, and you can still help others a little way that God have allowed you to help your family, you are not hungry. Thank the Lord. If you want more, the Lord will still bless it. But don't get carried away because of the oppressor, oppressions of the world. Hallelujah. This is something that I hear. Because you don't care about these things, you crush their feelings. You don't care about how they carry themselves with fake life. You crush their feelings. They think they are doing it to oppress you. But they see that you don't even give attention to that. You are moving ahead. There is something that is greater than what they have ahead of you. Keep going higher. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.